Hi, I'm Mr. Gonzalez, and today we're going to draw a horse. Some of the oldest images we have are horses, painted by our ancestors, the cave men and women long ago. This clay sculpture of a horse dates back to the Ming Dynasty. Karl Kempinski painted this battle scene of soldiers riding on horseback into battle. Fernando Botero sculpted this beautiful horse. My friend Ron Riddick painted this beautiful scene with a Native American woman and her horse. Terrell Whitlatch is an amazing artist who has done work for Star Wars creating lots of creatures. Here you can see her drawing of a horse, its muscle structure, and its skeleton. Kahinde Wiley painted this contemporary image of a man on a horse. And this is a painting I did of my friend Will on his horse hot dog. I think it's amazing that humans have been drawing horses for so long. And we're going to continue that tradition by drawing our own horse now. So go ahead and you can leave your paper this way. I'm gonna turn mine this way because I think, it, the, I think that the horse will fit better this way. So this is the objective. This is what we want to draw today. And it's a simple horse using basic shapes. And I will be able to show you how to do this. Afterwards, once you're done drawing your horse, you can add things like a horn and make it into a beautiful unicorn. You can even add wings and make it into a lovely pegasus. Whatever you want. So let's get started. I'm going to start by drawing the two circles. And these, these are the two circles I'm going to draw. They are the biggest shapes that make up a horse. And so one is the bottom half and one is the forward half, the top half. So when I draw that, I draw lightly. And if I make a mistake drawing a small circle, oh no, you can just erase it like that. So draw lightly and then try and draw the other circle right next to it. Good job. Now connect those with a smile. You're connecting the bottom circle to this bottom circle with a little smile. And it creates this weird big eyed creature looking right at you. Now the top of the circles connect the top with a little bitty bridge or a little smile. Remember, this is the shoulder and this is the rear end of the horse. The next thing we're going to do is the neck. And the neck is basically a triangle. Let's look at that other horse. Two circles and then this shape. That's what we're drawing next. So right here, we're drawing a triangle. Nice work. At the end of that triangle is another circle and that's going to be the head and cheek of the horse. Let's look at that. There's the circle right there. Draw lightly. They can overlap a little bit if you want. All right. The next shape for the face of the horse, just you're taking a line going down and another line going down. And you can draw another line connecting those. The next step, just draw some ears and you probably guess the shape. That's right, triangles. One triangle and another triangle. And for the eye, it's a little circle right next to those lines. All right, it's starting to look like a horse, but it is missing some things. Hmm. I think it's missing some legs too. So let's draw some legs. Draw a line going down at the end of this circle. And the same thing over here. At the end of this circle, we're gonna draw a line going down. Nice, those look about right. They kind of look like legs, but instead of really, really skinny legs, let's give them a little bit of shape. And we do this using a line that's a little curvy. So let's look. Here, this is a curved line. And look at that shape. 
it looks like the letter S. So we're gonna draw that letter S kind of like a snake and you can practice it off to the side. Maybe draw some grass that looks like that. Okay, now we're gonna draw it over here. Nice, and draw it again, even better. From this back, from the very bottom of that S, go ahead and draw a line going straight down. This is going to be the bottom of the circle, the corner of that smile is going to be the knee. So draw a line that goes up and then draw a line that goes this way and then straight down. Look at that hind leg, not too bad at all. All right, moving on to the front, we're gonna take a look at the legs again. The front leg goes out and in and it has another line that copies it. Okay, let's try and draw that. This leg goes out and in. Okay, good job. Right here, where this weird smile, remember the belly, where it meets that circle? It's going to be an elbow of the horse. And then here it goes a line to the wrist. This is the wrist. And we're gonna draw the rest of that leg just going straight down. Cool, we have two legs. Next, we're going to draw the legs that are behind those. So the other leg, we're going to draw just straight. We just draw a straight line. Good job. And this one, we're gonna make the leg lifting up a little bit. So let's look at that. It's got a little triangle on the back and it's like that line just continues behind the other leg. Cool, we can do that. Let me show you. A little triangle. Nice. And this line, pretend that it can, it continue. You can draw it lightly if you want. And another one above it. Good job. For the hoofs, let's draw some hoofs now. If you want to look at them, here's what they look like. The little triangles. There's a little triangle, a little triangle. They're just little triangles. So let's go ahead and draw them. This hoof, a little triangle. Look at that, that's pretty good. Another little triangle right here. Good job. This one, you probably guessed it. It's another little triangle. And this one, we'll draw that triangle like that. Very basic shapes. Let's see, what else are we missing? A tail, a tail kind of looks like that S shape. Nice. And then the nose and the mouth. And I don't like this being so sharp right here. I'm gonna soften that. Okay. You can draw the mane. The horses have hair on their heads right here and down their neck. Sometimes that hair looks a little like this where you can draw an arch and cut into it and draw little lines. To make the hair look like it's standing up, but maybe your horse has hair that's really long and it's just looks like a bunch of zigzags down here. And then bumps up there because the hair is laying down. You can do that. And then the horn is a triangle again, just like that. And it's a very sharp spirally horn and it's used for protection and mag magical spells. And you can show that it's really shiny by, by a bunch of little lines like that. This ear, you can draw another little triangle inside that ear. And then you can show that that's the inside of that ear. The eye, instead of just having it round, you can give it eyelid, an eyelid like that. And you can make your horse smiling. 
give it a nice big cheek and a little chin, big chin, whatever chin you want. Let's see the wings. You can start right here at the top of this circle. And it goes up and then out. And then when you come down, you're just drawing these lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and then that looks pretty good. You can draw another line like that. And if you want to show the other wing, it's the same thing. Just behind it, okay? And this is a simple horse. You guys can spend a lot more time. I'll show you a few more things before we're done. Here's some grass, maybe some mountains in the back, some stars way out there. Because it's nighttime. And uh, oh, if your horse has long hair all over its body, you can show it along the lines wherever there's a curve by adding just a little bit of um, like a suggestion of fur. You know, right here along the leg, look at all that fur. Along the belly, maybe it's winter and your horse is cold, so we're gonna draw its winter coat. There we go. And you can add little details to the hoofs where it goes in and out. Making skinny, you know, the feet a little skinnier if you want. As you learn more about horses, the design will get more developed. And that's not a bad thing, that's a really good thing. When you're drawing something, try and learn all you can about it because that's really gonna help you draw it better, okay? Continue the tradition of drawing horses. Humans have done it for a long time and it's your turn now. I almost forgot to mention that you can improve your drawing by erasing some of the lines you don't need, like this one and the circles. So just erase some of the lines that you don't need anymore. You can also darken some of the lines to help your drawing out, make it a little bit clearer, and then you can add some details. Eyelashes, maybe uh, spots on the back of your horse, And then you can also shade in things. Like this tail is gonna be a little darker. So you can actually shade it in. I like to put my pencil on its side a little bit. And then this here, this hair up here, I will shade also. And then if you wanted to, you can really have some fun painting it. Let me show you a few examples. I used watercolor to paint this horse. And this is another one I did using watercolor. So I hope you had fun with this lesson and draw lots of horses. Thanks for watching.